and welcome to Tax TV. Neil and see, we've got Dale and Andy. Dale and Andy, glad to both you have your on. Um, yeah, a win, goals, everything would happen. A good debut and back. So, Dale, uh, saw you in, having a, a pint and a drink like this before the game. Uh, yeah. when line up came out, were you scratching your head thinking, oh, a different partnership up front and you know, a new debut at, at back or what it was, like, um... yeah, what needed. I think I think that's what the team needed, mate. A little bit of a shake up, to be fair. Um, <clears throat> I think H and, and Norwood played well together. Mm. I'm not I'm not going to lie that, mm. I th- and, and I think that's a first for everything. Um, I think it's first time we've said that for a while that as strike partnerships work well together. Um, <clears throat> I think Bobby Thomas did really well. as I think he was up there with one at Man at Matches. I think he caught really well. Um, and, mate, honestly, I'm, I don't think... I, I want to send this out to everybody who's going to be watching this and and tell me when we were 2 nil When last time we were 2 nil up in 10 minutes. I, it, mm. it, it was it was, an ama- it was a great performance, mate. And um, I'm happy. I'm happy with... We, with how we dealt with uh, Accrington yesterday. Unbelievable. Yeah. Just going off from that, Andy, uh, just like uh, what Dale was saying, but yeah, tempo, what were eight, uh, yeah. well, I pressed straight from it from kickoff. Um, Bobby Thomas, I thought me as a player, but yeah, I, I just like him. I watched him in second half a lot, in second half, vocal, mm. he was in command. Uh, and just like what Dale was saying, a check up up front. And first time, Norwood and Aitchen have been like, as front pairing, and it kind of paid dividends on day. Yeah, um, I'd echo every word what Dale's just said, really. Um, yeah, I thought that Bobby Thomas um, played really well. Uh, looks a solid player. Um, I've never had really a problem with defence, though, really. It's always been up front, and yeah, um, I thought forwards... Put um, one hell of a shift in, especially in Norwood. He can. Mm-hmm. I mean, sometimes if you get, you know, his age, but he, he can put a turn of speed on when he wants to. And I thought he worked uh, really hard me yesterday and deserved that goal. And what a goal um, he took! Uh, I really, well, really pleased for him. Yeah. I thought he was. I thought he was coming off at one point though when he when he went. Mm. When he went down, yeah, at, um, yeah, in Ponty yeah. and he was it limping looked, for a good while. Mm. Yeah, it but, looked a bit dodgy, that didn't it? Yeah, but he, he he puts one hell of an effort in. I can't doubt him. You can't, you know, he can't doubt players for putting effort in because that's mm. what he that's what Norwood does every week. It's yeah. just that it's just his goal scoring record that he needs to get a, a, a hold on. You know, he, he he needs that service. He needs. He's not. He's not a. Is is a poacher of a striker, in my opinion. I think he's there just for tap ins, and obviously what he did yesterday was unreal. But I think I think he's one he's one of those players that needs that that little bit of space in box just just to tap just to tap ball it back at net. So yeah, I I I, I rate his effort. It's just his 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 goal scoring record that I think he needs to improve on, but. That's just that's not down to Norwood. It's not just down to Norwood. That it's down to the team as well. To be fair, so I'm 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 pleased with what he did yesterday. Yeah, yeah I mean, like going back on a few things on back. It's like I think when Tom Edwards got injured at back because he was starting to form a decent partnership there, and back I think back affected us in a in a kind of way. Uh, I thought back were a bit of a. With Bobby Thomas coming in, it seems to be a back three where I think could go on for the next couple of games and get better understanding better. Mm-hmm. Norwood, yeah. Um, I think it, I'm, I've said it before, I think it was in a couple of seasons ago, three seasons ago, we have probably been best out of Norwood. Again, age catches up, but it's the work rate and off at ball what he does as well to try and bring others in. I mean, I don't know what y- y- y'all think of this. I mean, Dale, I'll come to you. I mean, for. for Performance is what stood out for me. If I'm trying to look for a spine at team, I'm looking for like such as Bobby Thomas at back in midfield. I thought Adam Phillips, well, Adam Phillips, he could take anyone in midfield. Phillips, Kane, I thought had a decent game, trying to run a bat off an Norwood. 
Luke O'Connell trying to pick the ball up and try to get things going. And then up front, you've probably got Norwood. So if you're starting to get like now, not just one player trying to make a difference, but it's like a, a like a core at side trying to make a difference, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, mate. Um, for me, Luke O'Connell went man at match for me yesterday. Mm. I think he ran every blade of grass. I think he won all, nearly all of his challenges. He, he got, I think he got an assist as well. Um, so uh, for me, Luke, Luke Connell, outstanding man at Manchester. And yeah, I agree. I think, I think that's that spine of the team needs, I think that, I think that's sorted in a way, to be fair, because Anderson, Anderson's always a first team starter, despite him getting sent off or injuries or anything like that. He's a first team starter for me. So is Jordan Williams. Again, another good performance yesterday. Um, Bobby Thomas looks comfortable to say it was his first team. It was his debut yesterday. He looked comfortable. Mm. Um, I think he replaced Kundi yesterday, didn't he? Because I think Kundi's yeah. injured. Mm. Um, <clears throat> Kitchen, Kit, yeah, he had a good game yesterday. Kit, uh, Liam Kitchen. So, and you've got Nicky Cadden at, at left back. So, yeah, I'm I'm happy with. With his defence, absolutely brilliant. Midfield, again, you've got Luke Connell, you've got um, Phillips. And and uh, I think that last place where Herbie Kane and Benson, I think, can be competed for still. I still don't think Herbie Kane's quite there. I think Benson needs to get fit again and start putting in performances like he did in first half at season. So, um, and then you've got Norwood, H. and Cole. That you know those places are always for fighting, worth fighting for. So, but you still, we've still got what is it, ten, twelve days left at transfer window. So you know some more players could be coming in, uh, going out possibly. Um, what? Uh, but it Max Waters that came on as well mm. yesterday. Um, he had a bit of a quiet uh, last 15, 20 minutes, but I think once he gets settled in, I think, again, a, play, a place is there to be fought for. So Cole, H and Waters and, and James Norwood needs, you know, the places aren't secure up front. So, yeah, listen, mate, I'm, I'm pleased with with how Michael Duff's setting up, I think it's just, it, it needs consistency. You know, we, we're all, we, we've, we've been swapping, he's been swapping and changing players every now and again during season. And I don't, and I think he needs to stick with, with that team that played yesterday. Why not? Try, try, you know, try, try, keep going for, for three points with that team. Why not? Yeah, Andy, just going uh, off of that with new players. Some not match fit, obviously, but Bobby Thomas has been out on loan to Bristol Rovers and then got recalled back and then he's come to Barnsley. And I think, you know, a couple of, well, I said just over a week in it, a week and a few days, uh, transfer window left. Yeah. It's looking healthy in certain positions, but do you think there's still a, a shout for a, another player or two to come in? Yeah, I still think we need. Um... Another midfielder as cover. Um, possibly, well, it depends who goes as well. I and mean, we, I know they're saying that they don't want players to go, but you know, <laughs> um, that don't mean now. If somebody comes in with a stupid uh, fee, they're, they're going to go, aren't they? So it, it's going to be a bit up in air. I think this one, um, especially on. Day it's in transfer day. Um, so if, if if no players were going, then Andy, what yeah. would you like to see to come in? If no, if if no players are going, what um, would you like to see come in? I'd like to see another midfielder uh, come in. Um, yeah. Possibly, I still think another striker is cover. Honestly, do. Um, and well, it. You know, if uh, others are coming back from injury, uh, whether we need extra cover back, I don't know. Like, but uh, I, I would say at least now, at least minimum is for me 
uh, a midfielder and another striker. So you'd have, but, another stri- you'd have another striker come in, man. Yeah, for options, for yeah. options off at off at bench. Um, like I keep going back to like with these uh, young ones, like when we put um, Jalo on bench and um, go on. What's that young midfielder? Um, Martin. Yeah, him. Um, I mean, personally, I don't think they're ready. Um, and I think that's what we need cover, especially if we're going to, or if we are serious to maintain this position in, in top six. But uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's going to be an interesting transfer day, uh, honestly, do. But uh, yeah, it all depends if players go. And that goal what uh, Jordan Williams scored, that's probably put on a few bob on him as well, any <laughs> what a goal that was. That 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 would like to make you see how to FIFA on Xbox or something like that. Well, right, right, goal. Um, well. Yeah. Yeah. He did. Took- really good goal. Yeah, I took it well in confidence. I mean, and it's great to see as well, three different goal scorers on sheet. Yeah. Big one it uh, for me was penalty at end. For me, I was sat straight in front of him and it wasn't a penalty. I don't know what I I don't think anybody could believe it in in ground really that it were a penalty because my my take on it was that when it came across, Lores should have just booked, booked for it into Rosehead and just cleared it. He yeah. didn't, it fumbled about. He tried retrieving it, but he got bundled over. And it were one of them where they were, you know, ref obviously blew up and did that. But for me, they want a penalty, but I'm not going to make too much about that. But we're only. You, you think it, was, what, it wasn't a penalty in your opinion? No, no. Wow. No, I didn't. I ain't seen it, and I was sat in, well, I've I've sitting. Well, I sitting in stand anyway. I've, so I've seen it on. I've seen it on iFollow this morning, uh, yeah. and I've paused it, and I've watched it, watched it, paused it, watched, and I've watched it, and when it came over, Lares should have, uh, like I said, just put bolt through it, just get, just get up in air, just clear it, but it didn't. It, it came down. It got stuck between his feet, and as you look, as we we look, Lares is going is the. Ackerton player were on his right hand side as Lesh is trying to get away from the box, and the, their player just went straight into the back with t- feet tangled, and the Ackerton pl- player actually fell on top of Lesh. Okay. Now, if it had been other way around, I'd have got it. If if you know if the Ackerton player had been in front of Lesh and he's gone on mm. top of him, a bit like well, what what's been happening recently uh, in front of Madsen back where he's been falling down in front of him. But it won't. It was other way around. And when I paused it, and you see what actually happens, it will like really. It should have been a a free kick at best for us just to get yeah. it on. But that's my take on it. Uh, but like I say, that's 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 my say. For me, uh, I know Dale. You've said uh, Luke Connell, well, yeah. your your standout player. For me, I think were I think were two, maybe three, but I'm going to say two. What stood out for me, I think. Bobby Thomas on his home debut, mm-hmm. I, it didn't look like he'd, it, it, like a new kid on block. It, it looked like he'd been playing in back three for yeah. quite some time. But yeah. I've got to get to Norwood, just mainly for his... I, I, I'm going to say Luke Connell and Adam Phillips, because I thought Adam Phillips were linking up well. They were trying to, you know, go with Norwood. But I'm just going to go with Norwood, because he's running in with rate of football. Obviously, his goal gave him for that. But I think he was one of the best games I've seen Norwood. In a band of shirt, yeah. I thought you on that, Andy. Yeah, uh, me and Maddie said exactly the same thing yesterday at game um, before the announcer man at match, and I said to Maddie, "The uh, um, my man at match uh, won our wood. and Maddie said, "Just like you've just sent the Neil, uh, possibly his best game he's had in a red shirt." Um, yeah, I couldn't fault him. I thought it. Um, I thought he played really, really well, and. That goal is scored while just passing up cake, and uh, but yeah, there, there were a few that you could choose from. Um, but yeah, to me, Norwood, I think it to win. So, bear in, bear in mind, Dale. I mean, like you touched on it before, you keep it same against Exeter on Tuesday, I think it is, isn't it? Away, yeah, Tuesday, you, you, keep, uh, you keep it same, like for like, don't change out. No, no, change, no, don't change it. Don't change it. You you got you got a win under belt, try and get two, then go into Oxford, try and get three with the same team. I think you've got to now, Neil. I think um you can't be swapping and changing. 
Uh, we haven't got any cup competitions to worry about now, so it's just league. So tiredness, yeah, midweek, weekend, midweek, weekend. There might be a few changes here and there, but I, I wouldn't. You know, the the professional footballers at the end of the day, that the the know how how physical um, and like tiredness can come into it. But I think no, don't change anything. Um, and and also going back on um, on Andy's point, I think going into transfer window, which we are with ten, I think with ten days left, mm. I think an attacking midfielder is needed. Um, we haven't got one. I, I don't think we've got an attacking mid, a proper attacking midfielder. Um, I think, and I think a well-known striker, I think, is needed. Um. Just when I mean well known, I think I mean like try and get somebody from like Cheltenham. I think I think Al Alfie May. I think Alfie May will be a perfect fit, fit for us because he's got that pace. He's got a bit of strength about him. He knows um, Michael Duff. So try and get try and get a, a known striker in, um, and also a left back. I think I think left backs a bit. Week at the minute. Um, I know Kitchen can play there, and he has been playing there for the last couple of weeks. But Nicky Cadden played there yesterday. Um, I think he needs to play a bit further up, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, don't change nothing about it. Try and get three points on Tuesday. It's a tough. It's a tough game, Exeter, because the the beat us at home, didn't they? Um, quite mm-hmm. comfortably. I think it goes red with frost. <laughs> well, know, true. Yeah. Right. yeah. And, you know, the beat is quite comfortably at home. One of the best organised teams we've, I've seen at Oakwell for a while. So, um, so yeah, keep it as it is um, and just try and try and dominate as, as what we did yesterday. Second half as well. Second half was more of if we can just keep concentrating and, and just try and block them out Accrington yesterday, I think. Game game was done. Game was done within 20 minutes at first half. So I think yesterday was just trying... Yes, last second half was just trying to keep, keep it comfortable, keep it keep them quiet. And, and, and we did to a certain extent. It was just a lack, a lack of concentration from Lakesh that cost us... In my opinion, a, a clean sheet. It could be a, a costly goal that we've conceded yesterday, but I think concert, uh, just just oof it out, mate. Just oof it out. Get it off at West Stand. I don't care. Just try and go. But it's po- it's it it, it it was a poor decision by him, in my opinion, by just dawdling on ball. Just get it out. Just pass it out. Whistle were going to blow anyway. So, but yeah, no changes for me, Neil. And they just going off that. I mean. Bearing in mind, just been on about frozen pitches with up and dark country. If it goes red, it'd be keep it as it is, would you? Would you? Um, yeah, definitely. Why change a winning team? Um, if there's no reason to change it, such as like, I don't know, like little niggles after the game that we, we don't know about, then yeah, keep it, keep it same. Um, I would, without a doubt. Um, I can't see any reason why they should tinker it. Um, not even. Off at bench, really. Uh, keep exact same squad from yesterday for Exeter. Keep it same. Yeah. So we've uh, we've got to win. We've got to win it all. Well, uh, pretty comfortable win it. We're done in probably for staff like Dale said, which it was. Uh, and I think resting it was just like you know Atkinson was going to try and fetch game to us, but also they didn't want to concede anymore and they made yeah. it awkward at back and shut up shop kind of thing. Uh, a few players got some minutes under the belt, like Max Watters, wanting mm. you know get bringing up to match speed. So apart from Norwood, who looked a bit, you know, when he in front of Ponty, but he carried on for the rest of the game. So being well, that and proved to be he's carried on and made it aggravated a bit worse. So keep it as it is for Exeter. Uh, mm. Dale Andy, thanks for joining me. Thank you, mate. People, what's Thank watching? You. Please leave your comments, like, subscribe, and share. Let let us know your thoughts on man at match. Um, all stood out for you. I'm impressed with Bobby Thomas and uh, front two pairing and Norwood and Aitchison. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's worked for both squad. 
You can't not gaffer for that, can you? No. Uh, one thing left to say, you Reds.